Welcome to Does This Work? I'm Jeanette from Rachel's Culinary Team, and I'm here to help you test out all those trendy recipes we see on the internet to find out if they really work. Okay, YouTubers, today we are testing a recipe out that I am particularly excited about. We are making a pull-apart cake that is shaped like a watermelon. So if you've watched the show before, you may have caught some of my segments making all kinds of really cool watermelon creations and lots of great recipes with Rachel. So around the office, I might be affectionately known as the watermelon queen, potentially the watermelon diva from time to time. Oh yeah, oh yay. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yay. Okay, stop laughing at me. I didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah, we're ready to talk about watermelons. So I believe this story starts about six years ago. I was on the internet looking for a centerpiece for a Shark Week party that I was throwing. And I saw this fantastic sculpture made out of a watermelon. And I was like, I'm gonna make that and I'm gonna make it better. I made the shark watermelon sculpture. I posted a picture to Facebook and my wonderful boss, Emily, saw it. And she was like, you can't have skills like that that I don't know about and turned out to be my very first appearance on The Rachel Ray Show. I've been on the show at least seven or eight more times carving watermelons, making recipes out of watermelons. I've made a watermelon cat. I made a watermelon owl, which was probably one of Rachel's favorites. I made a watermelon basket, a watermelon grill. I made a watermelon T-Rex. I've made a watermelon hedgehog. There are so many things you can make out of a watermelon. Baking and decorating is definitely not my forte, but who says that I can't make a beautiful watermelon dessert? I guess we'll see. So this recipe starts with 19 of your favorite cupcakes. Now my favorite cupcakes happen to be Funfetti. What cupcakes would you make this recipe with? Make sure you comment and let me know. So I've got 24 cupcakes, which is what one box of Funfetti cake mix makes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 19. Did I do weird math? No. Takes absolutely no baking ability to put them in cute watermelon colored wrappers. <laughs> okay, so I've got this beautiful cutting board here. You need 19 cupcakes. You need to uh, stack them until it comes to a point that it looks like a slice of watermelon. It said to fan the back row so that it is circular, like the rind of the watermelon. One, two, three. I'm missing a row. Six, five, four, three. One, they're not two. Arrange cupcakes in a triangle shape, one at the top and six at the bottom. So wouldn't you assume that there should be a layer of two? This has me doubting my counting skills. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one. It calls for 19 cupcakes, so I'm gonna roll with this. The show should be called Jeanette Does Math. It is time to attack our beautiful, lovely, fluffy bowl of buttercream. We're gonna color it. Guys, I got a confession. I've probably frosted like three cakes in my life. I'm not a dessert maker. I Googled, what's the easiest buttercream to make? And here it is. I'm feeling pretty good about it. People in the room who are pretty familiar with buttercream are like, Jeanette, that's nice buttercream. And I say, thank you, it's my first time. This first step of the process of frosting this cake is to put three quarters of a cup of white frosting into a pastry bag, and that's gonna be the little rind portion. Make fun little finger symbols. And now, I have seen this tip on our show before. You take a quart container and you put it down because you might not have a friend around to hold it, and you fill it. I don't wanna like deflate my frosting, but I also want it to be like accurate. It's one of my other favorite parts about baking, the measuring. <laughs> this is the thing when I'm baking is like, I find one measuring tool and I'm like, how can I make that a divisible of a quarter so that I don't have to wash all of those? That should be three quarters of a cup in that piping bag. All right, next up, I need to make one and a half cups of green frosting. All right, so this is one and a half. This will probably be the last time you see my hands not the color of a watermelon. I ordered green on the internet. Electric green came. It doesn't say how many drops of food color you use, so we're gonna use our discretion. It's definitely electric green. I want more. Oops, that was a lot. I think I'm frosting six cupcakes with a quarter of a cup of frosting each. Yeah, this is like zero room for error, because it's six times a quarter cup is a cup and a half. I don't think I realized when I started making this YouTube show that this was gonna be just so much math. You guys, what do we think? Is this the green of the rind of a watermelon? Darker. Darker. Now I'm pretty sure I've used about half the bottle. I don't know if it's getting darker or if it's just getting more electric. I'm gonna dig in our pantry and see what kind of food colorings we might have. 
All right, let's see what's in here. Ow! All right, here's green. Let's see if this makes it any darker. There's so much dye in this that I actually don't even really feel that much more comfortable putting more dye in here. <laughs> Maybe one more squirt. I'm gonna say we're there. Now, three cups. So to use deep pink with a few drops of red. Three cups, deep pink. All right, I see you frosting. Now that green's looking so neon to me. I'm gonna make a deep green with that color that I found in the cabinet. Now I know how heavy handed you need to be with the dye. Yeah, look at that, guys. That is the color of a watermelon rind. Says the watermelon diva herself. Okay, so that is a nicely mixed up bowl of a more appropriate color green. Now, the recipe calls for about a quarter of a cup of frosting to go on each cupcake, and I know they need to be pretty accurate because I think the recipe only called for very specific amounts uh, to go on all the cupcakes. So I'm gonna use this ice cream scoop, um, and I wanna make sure that it's about a quarter of a cup. So I've got a quarter of a cup of water in here. I'm gonna see if that is interesting. So this is an eighth of a cup. Give me all the scoops. Okay, and since we work in this wonderful prep kitchen where we have all the scoops, let's see which one of these is a quarter of a cup. Jeanette scoop hands. What if I only had scoops for hands? <laughs> this is a traditional ice cream scoop. Wow, okay. So that's just below the little thing. That is going to be so much frosting on each of these cupcakes, but I guess you really need a quantity if we're gonna like frost over this whole thing so that it looks like a big watermelon. Going in, feel good about that amount. Ow. Audible gasps in the room. That is a lot of frosting. I feel like that's already half of it. A quarter times six is one and a half, right? How then am I almost out of frosting? So I have no idea how this is happening right now. The math does not really equal out. Maybe the scoop holds more than a quarter cup, but I swear when I measured it, it did. I'm gonna stick this on this one so that I've got <laughs> some room to frost the rest. You guys saw me make a quarter of a cup, a cup yeah. and a half of frosting. Yes. Now it's time to frost. So I'm connecting them, because then that would be the nature of a pull-apart cake. So much frosting. I'm gonna stop futzing with it. Maybe I'll just give it one more. I just want it to be nice and smooth. So I'm gonna use the smaller scoop and go for it. Okay. I'm a little grossed out by how much frosting is going on every cupcake. I really hope my dentist is not watching this. That's the best I'm gonna do. We're getting tie-dyed. Okay, so now here comes the fun part. We are going to smooth out the pink frosting. So, I, you know, I, I, I am speechless, I'm like, ah! So okay, now here's our potential disaster area that we were seeing before. There's a huge gap between cupcakes three and then the layer of one. And I feel like all the frosting is gonna fall down there as it is. So I'm starting to see the shape of a watermelon slice. I mean, I'm happy with the color. We're gonna smooth it so it looks smooth. This is actually kind of satisfying. Like, when do you stop? I feel like I could kind of keep going for days here. I don't know when to stop. This is at some point, it's like, Jeanette, stop playing with your food. All right, so now let's start piping the white frosting. We've had Buddy Velastro on the show like hundreds of times. We gotta show him this video. He's gonna like crack up watching me do this. Curving, we're going up. Hmm. I don't think that's that bad. Uh, getting a little pink. I'm gonna pipe one more time and make it a thicker line so that when I'm smoothing it out, it's not gonna, you know, agitate the colors around it so much. I think I'm on the right track here. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks like a watermelon slice. We've got black jelly beans, which have been quite the controversial ingredient. I actually love a black jelly bean. I know, everybody has their opinions about these black jelly beans. They're so good. I love black jelly beans. You're disgusting. Shut up, I love you. Black tongue, but no lipstick. Oh, is there a black tongue oh for me? Oh my God, your tongue is blue, yeah. I'm just gonna kinda decorate where I feel like there needs some seeds. Ooh, there's pink on me. We knew that was gonna happen. Throw them on. Maybe one more? And now I've got the rest of these to take to my desk and eat. I think I'm done. And I think I'm not that 
displeased with this. Looks like a homemade cake. I believe it is time to bring in our very, very special guest judge today to help me rain down judgment. Okay, all my fellow dessert lovers. This is my friend Grant Melton. Hello, everyone. Can I offer you a black jelly bean? Oh, wow, thank you so much. Um, this is what I do for all my guests on the show. Mm. First, we have a nice black jelly oh, bean. Oh, licorice. Oh, you like black jelly kidding. beans. Come on, like you're them. like one of the five people in the room that likes black jelly beans. You know that I don't do this yes. at all. And this is your first pull apart cake. What do you think? It looks like a slice of watermelon. It's very colorful. Like it looks like a lot of frosting, but then at the same time, I can't really tell because I can't see the cupcake. So I don't know I'm if it's flip too it around much frosting. So you can see the sides. Um, yep, the sides are interesting. They're, they're interesting. It's definitely a, a piece of art that you should look at from the top. <laughs> Grant, do you think that Ooh. Jeanette made the right Uh, where's the other one? The other one's right here. I don't think they look that different, Actually, really. Actually, now that I'm standing yeah, they here looking look the same. at it, maybe it doesn't look that, I mean, maybe it's a little brighter. I did think when you were making them that both of them looked almost like too bright and like too much, but now that they're together, they look good. It looks good. I noticed that you did a nice line of um, some seeds. Uh-huh. And then we didn't do that anymore. No. We I, scattered them. In my head, I heard our boss, Emily's uh, voice, yeah. saying, stop being so precious. Oh, did you hear like, that in your head or did you hear that? Because she said that. Did she say it? <laughs> so do we pull it apart now? Let's see. All right, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, I can't find the bottom of the cup. <laughs> there it is. That's like actually a pretty clean cut. Now it kind of looks cute. It kind of looks like somebody took a bite out of it. Oh, actually, it does. Actually, if you stick this it looks one like here, somebody that was looks adorable because someone was like, oh, a little bite. That's cute. Let's try it. Cheers. Uh, this is fun. This now is they're fun. all like watermelon-y colors. Hmm. Hmm. It's good. It's really good. It's Your fun. teeth are already pink. Your frosting's good. It tastes like a frosted cupcake. And the frosting here, it's very light and airy. And it's not too much frosting like I, I initially thought. I agree. It looks like so much when you first look at it, but it's not bad. If I were to bring this to a party, yes. like look at what our hands look like right now. Well, here, I have a question for yeah. you. If you were gonna bring this to a party, yeah. now that you have it on your tray, yeah. how are you going to get I it don't. There? I think I'm sticking it on my husband's lap and he's just like not moving in the passenger seat. It's like, Jimmy, <laughs> say a prayer. <laughs> because if you mess this up, it's over. But like, you can't put plastic wrap on You've got on a little now. frosting on your face. Can, can you do it for me? Yeah. No. There you go. Mm, thank you so much. It's like, where don't I have frosting? I know we've got frosting everywhere. So wait, okay, like maybe these are geared more towards kids' parties and maybe kids don't care if they're covered in frosting. Yeah. Maybe this isn't my dessert choice for like an elegant cocktail party. <laughs> yep, definitely not. One, two, three. This is fun. It's kind of like having nachos. Oh my God. But with cupcakes. Yep. Grant, look at this. Oh, wow. Wah, wah. A little, <laughs> it's a little frosting flap. A little frosting flap. So now if I'm the person who has to reach in and get that one, I have to uh -oh. do this. And I've kind of touched every cupcake around it. Oh yeah, see I'm like going into see? Some, a, a dangerous place here because I can't <laughs> feel any cake. Oh, it feels weird. <laughs> it feels so weird. Oh, look at that one. But look at what dressing's mm. on your hand. Uh-huh, is mine green? Yeah. What is mine? Pink. Very red, very Ooh. red. What do we think? Did it work? I personally think that, yes, it does work. I think it did. Yeah. All right, so I think that's enough from this prep kitchen today. Thank you very much for being on the show. Oh, thank you. And for being you for this your wonderful judgy self. Mm. And now your, turn, your pink tongue's gonna turn green now. We've got a big mess to clean up, so we'll see you guys in a little bit. You've got a big mess oh, to clean up. Oh, you're not gonna stay in help? I'm going home. <laughs> I'm gonna get stomachache. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> if you guys make this recipe, make sure you post photos using the hashtag Jeanette Does This Work? And make sure you subscribe to the Rachel Ray Show YouTube channel so you don't miss a minute of all of the messes I'm making. <laughs>